Yeah, hello, Driven by Moss 8.50 is out and there is also lots of new stuff for the launch pad. So the different variations of the launch pad which I support all can do the same new thing. So the launch pad Pro, the launch pad Mark II, the launch pad X and also the Mini, the new Mini Mark III. Let's look into what is new. The most stuff has changed into the shift view. If you press here the shift button, you will see even more colors as before. So I changed the coloring here on the left side so you have some better orientation. Before that everything was green which was a little bit hard to grasp which is one. For example now the undo is here and is orange and also what you press will be shown in the Bitwig screen. So you see it's undo redo so you have much better idea what you're doing and which function is actually executed. The new things you see here are the not repeat. So I showed that in a previous video with Ableton push but also the launch pad you can do no repeat. So what can you configure here? On the left here these three columns give you the period of the repeat, this give you the length of a note repeat and this activates note repeat. So let's have a look. So have a simple piano here and I can activate note repeat. And this works nicely. You can change here the period. Make that faster again. And you can also change here the note length. And this is, by the way, also always displayed here in Bitwig what you have selected. And you will also have the option to configure that here in Bitwig. You will see the settings and here you have the additional values which you cannot configure on a device, but you can set here. So you can change also the octaves of the Apache. So this is only one. You can go up and you can also change the Apache mode to the different variations here in Bitwig. And all these settings are stored again with your document, with your project. It will come up exactly the same way as you had it before. And I added also a new feature which was wished by some users. The poly sequencer which was so far exclusive to Ableton push controllers but now it's also available on the launch pad. So you go to the sequences by pressing it once. So we have the normal sequencer. We will have the poly sequencer as an next and the third one is a raindrop so let's go to the poly sequencer you need to have a clip and if we hit play here you will see the cursor moving and it works like this you play a chord or several notes or only one note however you like here on the keyboard let's take let's go with that one and then you can enter that chord here in a grid You can also enter multiple ones, so play another one. So much for the launch pad. If you dig it, make some funky music. <laughs> 